Welcome to the smallest and least successful jewellery making channel on all of YouTube, Diamond Mounter. Today is a quick one. I'm just going to explain what I do to retrieve stones that have come out of jewellery I was cleaning and gone and landed in the bottom of the ultrasonic. When the water's dirty, you can't see them. So I'll show you my method of getting them back. But before we get into it, I'm going to say thank you to some new patrons. And there's quite a few because I'm not getting a chance to make any new videos at the moment. Uh, we've got Ben Bartley, Manny Hung, Cass Cass, Jules Dunn, Johnny, Daniel Fincher, Mira, Sonia Zink, Jennifer Yates, Fan Wei, Matthew Andrew Budge, welcome back Matthew, and Daniel Keys. thank you very much guys, I really appreciate you contributing to the channel. Um, I'm not being lazy, I haven't uploaded much lately, but it's due to family events, and uh, I've got two exhibitions, one after the other, so I'm like organizing all my jewelry and stuff and getting new things finished to exhibit so that's what i'm up to lately right so let's get on with this ultrasonic thing okay so a little role play you're the jeweler yeah in a jeweler's shop and there's a workshop attached you're in a workshop you're the jeweler uh shop staff have sold a ring decent sale like three grand or something and there's pave set shoulders on it uh there's a few marks on the ring where it's been in and out of a display stand while it's been in the shop window. Uh, you get given it after the sale to give it a freshen up, get rid of those little marks. Just needs a light polish to get it looking its best again. So you do that uh, in a rush because customers in the shop waiting. Um, go to the ultrasonic, you put the ring in and then swish it about a bit, just check it. Yeah, okay, it's fine, take it out. But then after drying it off, it's like, oh no, there's a stone come out. One of the pave stones has come out. So it's always a small stone, like one mil, two mil at the most. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to chuck these stones in. I've got one mil stone and two mil stone. I'll chuck them in and then I'll show you how I get them out. Right, here's your ultrasonic. Used water. It's full of polish. It's either going to be sort of brownie colour, a lot of rouge, a lot of green, triple E. One stone. That was a two mil stone. Here's a one mil stone. <laughs> Can't see him, can you? You can get lucky. Like if the stones come out on an ultrasonic, when the water's really clean, you've got a fresh water in there. You should clean the water out quite reasonably often. Uh, if you're lucky, you can just see to the bottom and you can see it and then obviously you just get some tweezers that are going to reach and uh, take it out. Uh, that's on a good day. Usually it's like this. They're gone. They've disappeared. You've got to take the water out. All right. If you've got a posh one, it'll have like a little drain tap on it. It's a good thing to use. Uh, usually, everyone I've bought for myself, it's just got to, <laughs> you've just got to go to a sink and pour it out. Um, plug socket on the back, maybe pour it out the corner away from that, just a bit of common sense. Now you can get away with just pouring it out a corner slowly. The stones, I've never had a stone come out empty an ultrasonic or this. If you do it slowly, you've got very, very, very little chance of a stone pouring out. But I like to take it a little step further. I'd take um, like a pot and a sieve or a little net I've got here put that down first and I will pour water I will pour it the same way same technique so it's still safe but going through the filter or the sieve or whatever you've got into a pot to let the pot overflow you can see the last little bit you have loads of bubbles if you've got a soapy solution usually have slow right down for the last little bit don't empty it fully I'll just blow on the bubbles try and separate them a bit really the last little bit slowing down. Have a look around the whole bottom of the ultrasonic. You might see it. Usually it's hidden in the bubbles. If you're really struggling to find it, get some light light in there. Get it under your lamp if you have to. You can see the two mil stone, really easy. Notice I left a little bit of juice in there just to help the bubbles move about and keep it clear. Basically the trick is blowing on the bubbles. I'm trying to find that one mil stone. I can see it there, look in the corner. Right, this is one thing I want to mention. Have a little bag ready. Don't pick that up in tweezers and then start walking across the workshop with it. If you drop out your tweezers, you're just going to lose it somewhere else. There you go. Oh. Straight in the bag. Sealed it up. There it is. Then what you do, I mentioned this in one of my old Golden Nuggets videos. A uh, bit kitchen towel is best. Get it all in one corner like mop it up, I mean this is extra juicy, but try and get all the lemon and be full of gold and platinum and stuff. It's got a bit of value to it, all the bits in there, little bits of metal. Uh, you'll see on your tissue, it'll be all sparkly, all bits of precious metal. 
and then chuck that in your bin, ready to go to scrap. So then you, that should be all clean, just fill it up again, get that heated up and ready to go again as soon as possible. And you've got your stone ready to set. <laughs> or in my case, throw at someone who can do setting <laughs> to uh, get it back in the ring and then keep the customer, have, customer happy. Hang on a minute, I'm back. I forgot to mention this pot that you used to put your sieve or net in, that's full of hot water, yeah, from the ultrasonic. So you, if it's not too dirty, you can use that again. That gives you a head start on getting hot water in there again. Fill it up from the hot tap, gives it a head start when you've got the heater on it. They work so much better with hot water, so you wanna, if you can, get hot water back in there. And then of course check, if you didn't find your stone in there, you probably should check that first. Check the, check the sieve and then see what's in there. There, there might be, happened a few times in the past, you find a stone that was lost previously and never recovered. <laughs> You're like, oh no, where's that come from? <laughs> so uh, yeah, that can happen. So yeah, have a good look in there and be careful, really double check before you wash it out and empty it. Thanks for watching guys. Uh, before I go, I just wanna mention that at the end of this year, I am discontinuing Diamond Mountain membership through YouTube. If you wanna support the channel, help it continue, keep it growing, uh, there's only gonna be Patreon to do that. So very grateful to all the Diamond Mountain members. I don't want anyone to feel like they're being kicked out. If you wanna contribute, if you want to continue contributing, it's going to have to be through Patreon now, so they're going to have to shift over. And the reason is, it's because it's just so time-consuming. Uploading to all these different places and organising what different tiers and who gets what. Uh, there's sometimes a bit of troubleshooting with playability for some people on different devices and stuff, and it's just so much time for me on a computer, and I can't stand it. I'm not a computer person. Um, so the more time I've got, at the bench, uh, the less time I spend doing stuff on a computer, I've got more time at the bench. So that's the reason why I'm kind of streamlining my time and energy. So there's only Patreon now. From the end of the year, Diamond Mountain membership is done. So uh, yeah, I thought I'd mention that. Uh, cool, thanks for watching. If you wanna help the channel grow, um, the easiest way is to click like and subscribe. Uh, yeah, I need it. <laughs> so um, yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time, bye. But actually the opposite has happened. It's actually way more difficult uh, just constantly to to me and the effort I'm uh, doing like easier alternative than Patreon just upload into video upload into YouTube oh, for fuck's sake want to make a small comp contribution you'll be able to do so with YouTube but before I go I want to mention at the end of this year I am discontinuing YouTube membership it's because it's just so fucking tits so yeah, there's, there's reasons for that. I, I'll explain more when I've got more time. Um, video viewing or no exclusive content. Um, and no. So uh, I'm very grateful to everyone who is a Diamond Mountain member, but they already know anyway, because I've done, I've uh, uploaded a separate video for itself. Um, before, we, before I go, 